Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have a yes or no pick a card and I'm going to try to add yes, no and when for you if you have a question that needs a yes or no answer and also a time frame, even if you don't need a time frame but a yes or no, this is the video for you and you're going to have the pendulum as well and clarifications with the tarot. So if you're new, my name is Josie. I hope you consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals are seen in front of you and including those ones for your choices. Also, my own decks I have created. All the links are there. I also have a Patreon account, so check it out if you're interested. We do have a lot of fun with the Patreons only live. You do have early access to my content, so the links will always be there for you. Today, we have three options. Group one, you can see it. It's with the pink uh, agate, and this is also the pink card on the back here. So pink agate, bringing close, close to you, if this is calling attention, is for you. And group two, with the blue cards and the blue agate. So this beautiful crystal, if it's calling your attention, it's for you. And for group three, with the yellow cards and the yellow citrine crystal. So if this is calling your attention, it's for you. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one. But of course, you can watch the full video, see which one resonates the most, or maybe have different questions for different piles. So take what's resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. Group one again with the pink agate and the pink cards. Group two with the blue agate and the blue cards. And group three with citrine, yellow citrine and the yellow cards. Timestamp will always be on the description and on the first pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Group one, if you chose the pink agate, the pink card to start with the pendulum, and you're going to get clarification with the tarot cards as well. Yes or no on the tar on the pendulum, but we're going to check here. Oracle cards, tarot cards, positive, negative questions. Group one, yes or no. Slowly, slowly, it's not busy between ask a friend and yes, but we do have ask a friend. So ask a friend here, a friend can help you. We do have the agate here. Your cards are within the next few weeks, okay? So we have the time frame. So anything you're trying to manifest, resolve. I know not all questions need a time frame, but for you in the next few weeks, okay? So maybe a couple of weeks, could be very soon. We do have yes, straightforward yes for group one. Okay, so also a friend can help you, but yes, you can manifest or resolve this. Maybe this is a yes for a negative question and your friend can be there to help you out, to give you an advice, to be a mediator, to resolve something in case it's negative. But yes, you know, so an abundance, abundance, a blessing here. An abundance is that energy of feeling abundant, feeling like you're in the right place, not just for financial blessings, definitely financial blessings here, if that's your question, but also feeling abundant, feeling like you're in the right place with the right people as well. Very important. But let's get more information here with the uh, tarot cards as well. Anything else from the tarot cards? We do have the devil. This is Capricorn energies. Many times you're feeling stuck, you know, with something that it really in our minds more than in reality sometimes it's stuck in negativity it's stress overthinking you know procrastinations what is holding you back because the guides are saying yes you can manifest maybe holding back to talk to that friend to that person that can help you and the guides are saying do not hold back you can manifest to resolve this and the pink crystals here as well for your heart chakra so if you want to just trust your intuition connect with your heart chakra to talk to that person maybe it's a very Workaholic person, workaholic energy here. Capricorn energies. But we do have a perspective, which is the hanged man. So this energy of seeing things from a different perspective. And the Ten of Cups, no doubt blessings here. And that energy of feeling good about your results and feeling abundant. And this energy of manifesting a um, positive relationship or happy home or happy result. Okay, so you're happy with the result here, no doubt. So this is yes for you. But also the guys are saying, see things from a different perspective, especially if you are feeling stuck here with this devil energy. Sometimes you see things in a negative way or I'm stuck in the situation. I can't change this or I want to manifest, but it's harder. Or maybe this is a negative question as well. You have a way to see things from a different perspective. 
and I realize you're not stuck. You actually, you know, can just take a few steps towards releasing yourself for anything that is on your mind or in your situation and have a blessing come your way. Ten of cups, you know, celebrating. And then is a completion as well. When you're resolving things, when you're manifesting things, that you're happy with the results. So no doubt, yes, for group one. Anything else? Knight of Swords. You see with the communications? Maybe communicating with that friend here. So Knight of Swords. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So for that specific, straightforward communication. Do not hold back. Sometimes we overthink. We stress. And instead of just taking action, sometimes we think that we're stuck. But we didn't even take a chance. So they get to say, what do you need to talk or resolve or just see things from a different perspective here, connecting more with your guides, your intuition, your blessings here. Ten of Cups is really a blessed connection or resolution. You know, you're really happy with the results, but Knight of Swords, you need to take action. Go after what you want. Cut away what's not serving and communicate. Be honest with yourself, whoever's involved in your life. What else here for group one? We do have the Knight of Wands and Temperance. Okay, so again, another Knight and the energy of Temperance here to balance things out. The Knight of Wands, Fire Signs. No, this is the King of Wands. I'm saying Knight is the King. Okay, so no doubt, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this energy of taking action. There's really something for you to do here, Group 1. And Temperance is also Sagittarius energy, another Fire energy. So it can be you, someone in your life, or just the energy for you to step into. You know, when you step into that fire, that focus, the direction of doing something, communicating, not being afraid of going after what you want. Abundance is waiting for you. Blessings are waiting for you. Ten of cups. Yes. The guys are saying, yes, you can manifest or resolve the situation. A friend can help you. Maybe the friend is the king of wands or the knight of swords. Maybe the friend is the Capricorn or the Sagittarius. So in any case... See things from a different perspective that you may not be stuck or it may not be as difficult as we think. Sometimes we don't even try. We are in our minds overthinking. In reality, the guys are saying, no, take time. Have patience with yourself. Whoever's involved in your life, you don't need to rush into anything, but there's definitely some kind of action. Because even temperance and hanged men, the perspective, both are, are asking you for patience, balancing things out, but to take action. Because then you will see the results here and it may be just a conversation with someone like a friend or just seeing things in a definitely more positive way abundance is waiting for you yes and for you guys that need a time frame within the next few weeks it can be just a couple of weeks for many of you so trust here i really see something turning around a blessing coming away yes to manifest and resolve something here group one i'll leave with this group one let me know if it helps you out and resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment if you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you. My own decks I have created and much more. All the links are there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose the beautiful blue agate, we start with the pendulum. Positive, negative questions. Also, we'll have the clarification of the tarot cards. Let's see if the pendulum is agreeing with the cards. Yes or no. Group two, positive or negative questions. Set your intentions. Stopping slowly on yes. Let's see here. We do have opportunity. So it's definitely an opportunity coming your way to manifest, maybe resolve the situation in the near future. So this is very soon, very quick. And we do have a yes. So double confirmation on the cards and the pendulum. So let's see here more details here with the tarot. So we do have an opportunity coming away. Maybe as an opportunity to resolve this in case it's a negative. But it is yes for you very soon, okay? Because in the near future, this is coming really quickly for you. And yes, okay? So yes to manifest, to resolve the situation. What else we needed to know? We do have the Six of Swords, and Six of Swords really is this energy of movement. If you felt this stuck, the opportunity is coming to allow yourself to move. And this can be a physical move, can be travels, maybe moving houses, moving jobs, but definitely learning with the past. You're evolving, growing, you're going through maybe some turbulent waters before, and now you finally get some calmer waters helping you out. A light at the end of the tunnel, you're taking your lessons with you when you move. So anything that you felt stuck, the opportunity to move here in many ways physical mental you know so evolving growing 
ace of coins you see your blessing here interesting you have here for you you can see here for you there's a blessing an opportunity this is a gift this is a job offer a chance you know to maybe get to know someone an opportunity no doubt your opportunity is opening here for you this is really a door opening aces are doors and especially the ace of coins positive energies coming away positive good news coming and i really see like a blessing for many of you waiting for maybe job opportunities you have gone through interviews and you have not seen the results yet and have been maybe to difficult times or turbulent waters you will see a blessing very very soon okay the near future it's because you already have this door just to push to open for you my guides are showing here this is really really close for many of you who needs like financial blessings you know re resolving things manifesting the guides are saying yes you will you have your blessing here okay and even for people coming in your life okay so if you wanted to get to know someone those are friendly energies coming anything else here that we needed to know for group two we do have the ace of cups ace of cups blessings doors opening can be for you to trust your intuition can be for love connections loving what to do trusting your heart your intuition for decisions a door is opening for you aces for me are doors and i do feel like a, a blessing for you no doubt an opportunity here and it can be to talk to someone to bring something to your reality that you really want to and i feel like it is a blessing time here coming your way so again here aces you see here the doors opening for you for career for love whichever area here that you're trying to manifest or resolve something and also the will of destiny which is an opportunity you see here they will coming away especially if you feel like you needed to balance something and if you needed to really take a chance on something you see the opportunity to take a chance on someone or a job or an opportunity that you really wanted to take for a while and maybe you didn't before maybe you feel like you missed a chance before so if you hear something my dog is around as always so i do feel like your chance is coming your opportunity even if you feel like you missed you know your doors are opening career love doing something that you love anything that you're asking really yes your chance is coming your opportunity is coming and we also have the five of wands many times we're going with the five of wands through some uh, internal external battles so i do feel like many times we just need to step out of the situation see things from a different perspective and realize here you know it's not maybe as hard as we think maybe there are many things that are on our minds you know but be able to just see okay what's really my chance here to lead in the situation trust in your heart your intuition with everything and you do have the hermit you see the hermit mode the virgo energies for you to really connect with your intuition to take your journey to do things for you as well and being able to manifest what you want so i do feel like the hermit giving you that introspection connecting with your ace of cups energy to take your chance here as well to really trust your intuition i really see here you guys manifesting very very soon okay the near future very very close and double confirmations on yes opportunities to manifest or resolve even if it's a negative question I see you guys having time for you to connect with your intuition, to see a light at the end of the tunnel, to be able to really allow calmer waters after maybe some hard times. And these five of ones could have been those hard times for you. Sorry again about my dog here. But aces, your doors are opening. Your opportunity to manifest or resolve this very, very soon is coming your way. That's what I have here for your group too. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you. My own decks I have created and much more. All the links are there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group 3, if you chose the beautiful citrine, we start with the pendulum and we see if it's going to agree with the cards. We will have clarifications with the tarot here as well. So positive, negative questions, set your intentions. Remember my links below if you want to connect with me. Yes or no, group 3. Yes or no. Slowly, slowly stopping and ask a friend. So maybe a friend can help you here. We do have citrine citrine is with the um, energy of the solar plexus as well so trust your gut feeling okay so maybe your gut feeling is that telling you sending you in a specific direction so wait okay so maybe your gut feeling is telling you wait you know so no okay we do have no here for positive or negative questions but not the right time okay so for you guys that wanted to manifest or resolve something in specific time 
no or not at the right time okay so no for negative questions anyway wait here if you need to do something talk to a friend maybe this friend here can help you to understand why they need to wait a little bit you know giving you opportunities to understand more the situation not the right time for something that they wanted to manifest or resolve so if you hear something my dog is around and not the right time so maybe wait because it will help you to see things clearly to understand more about the situation to not rush into anything to not settle for less than you deserve i will always say no is a blessing to not settle for less than what you really want and the universe giving you something even better something different maybe it's something else but different okay uh page of swords maybe something similar to what you want but i feel like in a different direction page of swords is getting to know opportunities okay so the page of swords you need more information as well or learn more about this person or those situations or you know it's a conversation as well it can be with the friend but page of swords can be sometimes immature behaviors so just wait to get more details so conversations getting to know someone getting to know more about this opportunity the situation do not rush page is a new new you know maybe it's a new person maybe it's a new connection maybe it's a new chance that you have with a job or career but just wait study you know get to know someone more details you know so research do not rush into anything anything else three of wands and the five of swords so three of wands is a light at the end of the tunnel so maybe right now the guys are saying wait because you still have to go through this tunnel this situation to learn more about this five of swords many times you know we sabotage or someone is sabotaging especially with miscommunications or doing something that uh, you know behind your back that kind of energy i feel like there's something else that you need to know so you don't rush into something that's not good for you whether it's a job or a connection or just the situation no for negative questions too but there is a need to understand here maybe talking to that friend to see who and who is on your side or who's sabotaging or are you self-sabotaging here and being able to allow three is still a journey so it feels like again not yet not the right time for something that you wanted to manifest it feels like there's a road to get there a road of learning about yourself about the situation about what you really want or what you, is really good for you anything else here group three seven of coins and right now with the seven of coins is this energy of planting seeing the results of what is going on but it's a chance to make a decision after that so i feel like it's seven of coins is like an evaluation of everything that's growing you put your energy into the situation so what happened you know what was the result or who can you really trust here or what other information are you getting out of this so evaluate what is coming out of the situation to then make a decision so seven is about evaluating here what are the same cycles or patterns what's happening and what did the, the situation that you put your energy on was manifesting? Something good, something bad, more of the same, something different. And the guy is saying, don't rush. So just time for planting, time to invest some time on yourself. Or It's really an energy of waiting. Yeah, Queen of Wands, you see the fire, the energy can be the person that you're dealing with or yourself. And fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like the energy of you stepping into your power as well. To see what's good for you. You do things for you. Not because someone else wants you to do. Remember to not settle for less than you deserve. That kind of energy here too. So I feel like it's time for planting. Time to investing. Time to take really a good look of everything that's going on. Or who's there for this situation. For you to take your time. And one last card here. Group three. We do have the knight of fantasy. Queen and knight. And I see this knight here, if you're asking about relationships, maybe this person is not feeling good enough for you. Knight, not a king of wands. And uh, I feel like your energy is on a queen of wands, whether you're male or female, you know. So that's how I feel like your energy is here. And maybe the situation or the person you're asking about is still here. They do want to take action, but um, I know maybe fire, passion, not commitment yet or not feeling good enough for you yet. Or something that needs to develop to get stronger. So building the courage. So again, more time, more information. Things need to develop. No or not yet. Just wait to see. 
you know, who can you trust? Or is this the best thing for you? Is this the best person for you? So I feel like they get the same to sweet because again, to not settle for less than you deserve, to manifest something really good for you or someone really good for you or really your chance that is coming better than you imagine. No for negative questions anyway, but I feel like a conversation with someone, the friend that's here, everything is helping you out. Remember the citrine to connect with your solar plexus and help you with your gut feeling so trust that intuition the gut feeling i'm just trying to focus here trust your gut feeling that could be telling you already wait a little bit or take caution in this situation no not yet but again trust your intuition along the way at least wait a little bit that's what i have here for your group three i hope this helps out or resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the Chris is in front of you. My own decks I have created and much more. All the links are there. If you're new, consider subscribing, like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.